Hi folks, this is Max from uh, GalaxyNote2.com. So I've got uh, uh, my Verizon Galaxy Note 2 here. I'm over here in uh, actually uh, Seoul, South Korea, and uh, it's actually roaming in uh, um, uh, global data. Let me show you. If I just run my Verizon uh, roam, it's going to cost me twenty dollars per megabyte. Um, so that's probably not a good idea. And I've actually got my uh, SK Telecom SIM card here to test. I've had a, um, let me show you how you can turn your uh, Verizon Galaxy Note 2 into a world phone with 3G and HSPA plus working. And 4G LTE might work if you have 4G LTE chip, but I've got a uh, HS uh, 3G chip here. Anyway, um, this will allow you to use your phone as a world phone. Now it's uh, it's not going to work on T-Mobile or AT&T in the U.S. because Verizon, um, I don't think they've actually included um, T-Mobile and AT&T bands, uh, which T-Mobile uses 1700 megahertz and AT&T uses 1900 megahertz. Now, rest of the world, uh, for HSPA and UMTS, they use um, 2100 megahertz. So, uh, so it should work, and I've actually tested it, so it works. Um, so the Verizon Galaxy Note 2 actually comes SIM unlocked. So if you insert another SIM, your voice will work. Um, you know, uh, so it's a world phone already. But now Verizon has locked down the APN settings, um, which means you won't, you will not be able to get 3G or 4G data. Uh, but uh, the reason why that is, if you go to mobile networks, if you go to access point names, um, you cannot add uh, more APN uh, settings. So get, to get data working, 3G, 4G working, um, 4G as in HSPA plus, or 4G LT might also work, you simply need to be able to insert APNs. Now to get around it, um, you just need a rooted phone, all right, root your phone, and also we'll need a couple of tools like, uh, you'll need to install um, Titanium Backup Pro, all right, so let me go search Titanium Backup, um, make sure you install Titanium Backup, the regular one, and also you will need the key. Um, this is like, I think $2.99 or $3.99, but highly worth it. You buy it once and you can use it uh, for a long time. And also that you'll need an app called APN uh, Manager Pro. Um, this one you'll also have to buy, but I highly recommend it. Makes things easier. Only like $2.99, $3.99. So those two are the only apps you need, Titanium Backup Pro and APM Manager Pro. Uh, once you have that installed, what we're going to do is uh, run Titanium Backup app. And uh, um, here we go. And what you want to do is go to apps here. Uh, if you have the Pro version, there's an option where you can um, convert any app into a system app. Now, a lot by doing that with APM Manager Pro, uh, you'll be able to add new APNs from another country. So let me go ahead and uh, hold down on it. And if you go to the rightmost menus, um, you'll find this menu called Convert to System App. So Convert to System App, and once that app is converted to System App, you can actually add new APNs. Um, and that's pretty much it. And you'll have to find out the APN for the network. Now, I'm, I'm using S, uh, this network called SK Telecom in uh, South Korea here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, run APN Pro. Now, once it's converted, it might look all weird. Oops, you have to go find the app. Um, let me see. It actually converted into ALE and Android APM Manager, or it could it could still be Android Man, um, Android APM Manager Pro. Um, but go ahead and run that, and you'll see a bunch of menus here. You simply have to insert a new APN and go Google like your 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 uh, carriers uh, APN settings and basically you need the APN and also uh, you'll need to enter the MMSC, MMS proxy, MMS port if you want to send uh, MMS messages and also very important is MCC and MMC. Um, get those values and insert it in here and I've actually uh, inserted it already for SK Telecom. Uh, let, me, let me actually show you uh, edit and so I've inserted APN uh, web dot SK telecom uh, dot com and also MMSC MMS proxy MMS ports MCCM and then MNC that's pretty much the most important thing rest of the things you don't have to fill out um, so you can actually switch it like this 
or what I like to do is uh, do a uh, swap APN and choose one of the main Verizon ones and the one you're gonna switch to. So I'm gonna choose SK Telecom, the one I just uh, made or the one you made, and also the other one is the Verizon. It doesn't really matter. You can just choose Verizon Internet, any of those Verizon Internets. Um, so I'm going to set it to Verizon Internet for right now. And uh, once you have those things done, um, you're all ready to go. And it's still roaming right now. So let's go ahead and uh, turn my phone off. You can just pull the battery. And I'm going to swap out into my new SK Telecom uh, micro SIM card here. And uh, this one actually is not 4G LTE uh, because for, you know HSPA Plus is really fast in Korea, and also I have unlimited. Um, if I do get the 4G LTE, uh, there's no unlimited. It's very expensive. Um, there's no reason for me to do that since I don't you know live in South Korea. I uh, just need some internet when I visit. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, restart my phone, and let me clean my phone real quick. And yes, your uh, Note 2 does support HSPA Plus and GSM. It's a world phone. Um, so now I've rebooted. Uh, for SK Telecom, you might have to insert, uh, restart the phone twice um, or any phones in Korea. Um, other countries, you don't have to. You just have to do it once. Um, so let me go ahead and uh, run APM Manager again, uh, the ALE blah blah thing. And then I'm going to swap the APN. Uh, to SK Telecom, right? So now I'm getting data and let me turn off my Wi-Fi and you'll get this error non Verizon SIM Don't worry about it. Uh, just there, but it, you can still use it uh, perfectly Let me turn off my Wi-Fi and uh, I should start getting 3G or 4G HSPA and I've actually turned off my mobile network because it's I don't want to get charged for roaming So gonna go ahead and turn mobile data on you don't have to turn uh, global data roaming access on since I'm not roaming. Um, and you can see I've got H. So I've got, uh, let me show you the browser here real quick. And you'll see that internet is working just, just fine here. All right. And let me also show you uh, about phone here. And show status. And you'll see I'm on SK Telecom and uh, mobile network. I'm on HSDPA uh, 9 there. And there's my Korean phone number. Um, and there you go. So I've got HSPA Plus working. Um, and let me dial 411. Uh, 411 is actually 114 in Korea. And let me check that my voice is working. And there we go. So my voice is working. Um, let me go ahead and do a speed test for you. I know some of you are very interested in the SK Telecom speeds here in South Korea. HSPA plus. Uh, I'm actually on H, so it might be a little bit slower than actually. I was getting almost 10 megabits per second download, but it should be pretty good. Uh, two, three. Um, well, not too bad. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm on H now, not HSPS. I think that's the just regular HS. DPA, whatever. Um, so my data is working, my uh, you know, my voice is working, and uh, there you go. Um, I had a similar thing with I had a similar tutorial with the Galaxy S3, but I couldn't show you that the data was working because I didn't have a, a you know the 2100 megahertz band to test with. But here in South Korea, um, they use 2100 megahertz for HSPA plus, and also 4G LTE may work if you do have an uh, LTE chip. Uh, I haven't I, obviously I can't test that. Uh, but now at least you can use, you know, another SIM card um, in another country and use your phone um, in another country with voice and uh, 3G HSPA Plus fully working. Um, so anyway, that's how you do it. Now you should be able to do it easily. Um, there's also other ways you can, you know, but this is the easiest way. Uh, you can do it without using anything. Just use your phone. And uh, very simple to do. And when you go back to um, you know the US, you just have to swap out the Verizon card. And uh, what you can do is just simply uninstall the um, uninstall the the uh, APM manager in Titanium Backup Pro, uh, or you can just switch the um, the APM back to Verizon. 
and that's that's pretty much it and also uh, one more oops uh, we got cut off there so uh, if you go to APN's settings access point names you'll see that SK Telecom is set as my APN and uh, you can actually do this on Verizon Galaxy S3 and should work on most actually Verizon phones all the Verizon phones are you know world phones uh, but obviously Verizon locked down the APN uh, but you can use a simple method to um, you know turn your use your phone outside the US when you travel outside the US anyway thanks you guys for watching this video um, as always if you like this video don't forget to hit that like button here subscribe button down there also and uh, don't forget to sign up for my uh, email list at galaxynote2root.com uh, we update you once a week with Rom of the Week tips hacks and more and also um, I think that's it and uh, have a great holidays uh happy new year and uh, uh as always stay high on android oh yeah y year 2013 will be the year of android um yeah all right see y'all later